Hi, it's uh, Darren Flood from Evolution Marketing here. Today, we're just going to do a little bit of a deep dive into the new version of the Sugar Serum mobile app that just came out uh, earlier this week, uh, version 4, uh, just released by Sugar. Uh, I noticed it uh, when I went to open, open the app a couple of days ago, and uh, it's quite noticeable some of the changes. Um, so we're going to go through a few of those changes today and, um, and have a look at what the latest version of the Sugar Serum mobile app um, is now doing. Uh, first thing you'll notice, um, I've got the icon down in the bottom right hand corner of my screen here um, and if I click on that, that'll open up Sugar. Um, yeah, so that's uh, got a new white background and a little bit more um, clearly displayed. Uh, one of the big changes is uh, lots of uh, white space and a bit of a cleaner and fresher look. So. Uh, the, the date for release for the app was um, August 15th and uh, they're doing regular updates of the, of the mobile app I've noticed this year. And uh, the mobile app is one of the uh, really strong features of Sugar Serum. So it's a really, really good product and uh, I'd encourage you to um, have a go of it if you haven't already. Um, I guess the, probably the most noticeable thing you'll see when I jump in and start showing you the app in a moment is it's very fast, uh, it's got a very clean look and it's really very easy to use. Uh, obviously works on um, an iPhone which I'm working on today so all iOS devices, um, Apple devices, um, uh, tablets and, um, and iPhones as well as Android um, smartphones and tablet devices. Okay, so um, this version, we might just go quickly over to, um, to the App Store. Uh, this is version 4, so it's a full um, release up uh, from version 3. So it's a full point release in, um, in this version of the app. Um, I really think Sugar should really make a bit of a bigger deal about some of these uh, new releases. Um, it's, a, it's a great a uh, great product and um, they could probably do with a bit more fan fanfare I think um, letting us know that uh, they've got this great new version available. Um, yeah so uh, we're just going through the release notes. Um, if we just go down here to version history. Uh, a couple of things to point out. Um, since um, yeah, 10th of March version 3 came out um, including this release at six updates this year. So quite a lot of, um, a lot of changes happening with the, the mobile app that I've noticed, which has been good. Um, and um, I guess a bit of kudos to whoever is writing the um, release notes for these um, new versions. Uh, they're obviously mentioning Star Wars in, uh, in um, December, where they were channeling the force to crush some, some bugs. And um, yeah, so they a bit of a sense of humor uh, with some of their release notes, which uh, yeah, kind of is quite nice to read. But um, yeah, so uh, this, this version here, um, version 4, the, the major change is three things really. Um, one, quite a new look, a new, new design, um, improved user experience. Um, and the second thing is a new feature called deep linking. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you in a moment. And, um, and some uh, additional bugs have been squashed. So that's always a good thing. So um, let's jump into the application. Um, and have a look at some of the new um, user um, design changes. Uh, the thing you'll notice firstly is the color scheme of the modules. You've got a, a lot brighter look to them. Um, when you click, well I guess actually back to that one, it's a bit of a, a light blue screen here. And uh, when you click into a module, so if we go into Judy's record, We've got this blue background on the main details section of the record with the white text. Uh, Sugar have changed their font and when I was at SugarCon earlier this year when I was talking to the guys in the UX uh, user experience um, section uh, of the conference they were yeah, talking about uh, really trying to make uh, the app and Sugar more generally much easier to read and clearer. So this blue background with a white um, text and a, and a nice nicer font is part of that uh, of that change, and lots of nice bright colours for the dashboard, and again on the related items, these, this new bright colour scheme for the modules. 
Um, I've been told that those color schemes um, that they've released uh, now into the mobile will make their way into, into Sugar itself. So I'd expect that's a, a new change that's gonna come with the um, Windows, well, the, the, uh, the main web-based app um, application that we access from our browsers. So that, that'll be coming soon. Um, okay, so uh, that's the, um, the, the color scheme changes or the UX changes that they've made. Uh, the other thing that they've done is introduce, introduce this new feature called deep linking. So I had to do a little bit of research into working out exactly what the context of dead linking use would be, um, deep linking I should say. Um, and uh, what I've done is I've sent a little example email, something that you might send uh, internally in your own um, office uh, or amongst your colleagues. Uh, and this one is you know, an email to Jim. Here's the report on this week's new accounts. We had a great week and there's a link to the report. So if Jim was to click on that link, instead of opening it up in the browser, it now prompts to open up in the mobile app itself. So in this case, that was a report that was generated in Sugar. We've clicked on the email, it's taken us to the app. And if I click on that file, it'll actually open up the report and I could put it into the um, landscape view and get a good view of that. So that's quite cool. So let's close that down. And if I just go back to the email. Um, also, could you give Marcella from Davenport Investing a call, please? I think she's ready to proceed with her project. So if I click on this link here, it will open up Marcella's record in um, the Sugar Mobile app. So let's try that. And now I'm on Marcella's record and I can see her details here and I can see that there's an opportunity and I can have a look at the opportunity. And again, you'll notice I can see anything that's related to the opportunity, including some tasks, a file note. So I can see um, the detail of the project that they're wanting to go ahead with. And uh, I guess it's always good to demonstrate this feature in, uh, in the Sugar Mobile app. If I needed to call Marcella, I could call her by clicking on that and it will, using the mobile device's phone, call. Just hang up there. And it prompts, do you wanna log that call, which I do. And it's filled in all the details that I need to. But I can just, in the description, we can just type in uh, the notes from our call or I like to use the dictation function that's on the keyboard of your iPhone or your Android device and uh, just record it. Had a great call with Marcella. She asked for the invoice to be sent tomorrow. And save that. So that's a great feature for um, using uh, the the app when you're out in the field and um, yeah so that that calls now recorded and we can go back to Marcella's record and if I wanted to I could send her an email an SMS or even get her address if I needed to go and visit her. So they're just some of the core features that you're probably familiar with already with the, um, with the mobile app for, for Sugar. So uh, that is basically the, um, the two major things with the new look and design. So yeah, I, I find it really easy to use and very clear. This is the um, previous version. I just got an image online um, and uh, you can see the, uh, the, the black and the white and the blue color scheme. Um, I wouldn't say it's, it's difficult to read, but um, certainly not quite as clear. If I <clears throat> just look up, uh, I think it's um, Judy is the same contact. So yeah, that's the, um, the difference between, uh, if I look, that's probably the, the corresponding look and feel. So yeah, I think the new the new version um, is a is a cleaner, easier to to use uh, um, view, and I guess one thing um, that I have just noticed is it does give you the number of phone calls that are associated, or the number of meetings, or the number of records associated with each sub panel. So I can see that there's 
uh, five um, phone calls and six meetings. And if I go right down to the bottom under direct reports, I can see there's no direct reports and it's a little bit lighter. So there's lots of these very subtle um, changes in the design that uh, make it more informative and, and, more, uh, and more useful when you're, when you're looking at the mobile device. So um, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you. One thing to keep in mind that this version of the mobile uh, app 7 um, will only work with Sugar 7.1.1. So Sugar 7.1 was recently released. That's definitely worth um, adopting. Uh, if you're on Sugar On Demand, that will be done automatically for you, as will 7.1.1. And um, if you're on-premise, you will need to install that upgrade, uh, which you can get your partner to do or do yourself, or you can contact us if you need some assistance. Uh, the 7.1 release is a really big improvement in performance of this latest version of Sugar and you need 7.1.1 to have the deep link linking feature work. So yeah, I'd recommend installing 7.1.1 for on-premise uh, users of Sugar. That's where they've got it installed on their own server somewhere at Amazon or in their office or wherever. Um, the on-demand customers where Sugar hosted, they will organize that for you and you can raise a case if you need uh, them to uh, accelerate that. Um, yeah, so that covers everything. Um, new features coming with the with this uh, mobile version of uh, of Sugar. Obviously, um, well, actually, one thing that's coming that we're looking forward to is the ability to customize uh, the mobile app. So put custom functions. Uh, if you click on these um, uh, little plus signs, like for calls, uh, that will uh, prompt to uh, record a call. So anywhere you see a plus, that's, a, that's a, effectively an action item. So let's cancel those. What you will be able to do is uh, put in functions that do custom things that you want them to do. So uh, obviously you know, many clients customize Sugar CRM and uh, add custom functionality in, and customizations into it. You can now start bringing them down to the mobile device. Uh, an example of where we might uh, see that being used, we recently did a, a customization in Sugar for a client where we uh, get it to automatically create a contract type document and email it out to a number of, uh, of clients to get them to e-sign using DocuSign. At the moment, uh, it's enabling their mobile um, field reps to, um, to do a lot of work in Sugar, but they can't initiate that function where it will create the contract and email it automatically. We could add that functionality into this new version of the, the, um, the Sugar Mobile when they add the, the new, that new functionality uh, in the near future and uh, provide them the ability to, to do that. So more of the user experience of Sugar is moving into the mobile app um, and that's obviously in line with more of us spending more time out of the office and with our mobile phones and tablets as our primary computing device. So I think that's a good, um, a good, a good move on Sugar's part. Um, so if you need to get access to this latest version of uh, Sugar CRM version four for mobile, you can download that from the App Store or from Google Play if you're an Android user, uh, it's free. If you um, aren't using Sugar in your business, um, and you want to get a trial of, uh, version of Sugar, uh, you can get that directly from Sugar or from your partner or uh, from us if you need to. And um, we can um, also connect the uh, free mobile app to that demonstration instance. So you can demonstrate uh, or trial uh, Sugar as well as the, um, as the mobile app. Um, yeah, so uh, if you um, would like to leave some feedback about the app, if you like it, you can do that uh, at the app stores or on the Sugar CRM community and I'll include a couple of links to those places uh, in the details below and on the blog page on our website. Uh, thanks everyone and um, yeah, happy mobile computing. Thanks.